Harper's Weekly, 1883. It so happens that the work which is likely to be our most durable monument and to convey some knowledge of us to the most remote posterity is a work of bare utility. Not a shrine, not a fortress, not a palace, but a bridge. People said it couldn't be done. Few knew anything about building bridges then. Brooklyn and New York were separate cities at the time. Roebling's Bridge was designed to unite them, creating the only land passage across the East River. Working conditions were primitive and hazardous. Workers had to set off explosions in dangerous underwater caissons. There were no jackhammers. Tools were made of wood. There were no telephones or electricity. Materials had to be hauled to the site by horse and wagon. It took 14 years of hard labor and many lives. But when it was completed, it was the first steel suspension bridge ever built, crowned the longest in the world. It opened to the public on May 24, 1883, connecting Manhattan and Brooklyn for the first time. 